Okay guys, so I uh, just finished up the day and I wanted to give you guys a, a quick rig rundown of what we're working with. It's not staged at all. This is literally what we do um, every single day. This is our setup. And um, though I'm showing you my personal rig here, the, the other truck that's out is identical to this um, from Stick Edger, the, 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 the mowers, like everything is completely identical. Um, with that being said, let me go ahead and show you what we're using this year to, uh, to get it done. Okay, uh, let's just go ahead and jump right into the mowers. That's what everybody loves. Um, we have, we ended up getting three new Gravely mowers, um, all the pro stances. If you've followed my channel at all, uh, you know that I'm a big believer in um, the stand-up mowers if you're servicing uh, residential properties. And for us, that, that is primarily what I target in my market. Uh, so we have a 52-inch and then a 36-inch, okay? Um, if you notice, the 36-inch is last year's model. I didn't get this year's model in the 36-inch. And the reason for that is because our old mower, which we still have, is last year's model as well. And I wanted both 36s to be completely identical. Um, and again, that, that's for having the same replacement belts. The engine's the exact same. I know, I know the machine backwards and forwards, and I just wanted both of my 36 uh, machines to be the exact same. So we just got last year's model, okay? That being said, gravely, man, y'all have hit a home run with uh, some of the upgrades that y'all have done on these new machines. Um, once I ended up riding this for a while, I, I wish now that I had just got the upgraded model of this, got rid of my old 36.2, and then got four new machines instead of just three. But that being said, um, I will do a full review of this mower um, soon, but um, they really, man, um, I, I don't know what it is. The, the cut seems to be a much better on this mower. I know it's the same deck and I can't explain it, but, but again, I really feel like the cut is a lot better with this mower. Um, the, the controls, the ergonomics are very nice and, and the it's like butter, man, just, just, just using the mower. It's very, very smooth. Um, again, I will do a full review on this mower soon, but uh, man, they've really, they've really hit a home run with this mower. So regarding a 36 inch mower and the 52 inch, the, the reason that we have those two sizes is because it allows us to tackle pretty much any property uh, in our market, okay? Uh, and also the, the beauty of having a 36 and a 52 is that the blades are interchangeable with a 36 and a 52, okay? Uh, and it might not seem like a big deal to you guys, but look, if I can go and order, you know, 100 blades and not have to worry about this blade goes on, on that mower and, you know, having three different types of mowers that have different blades. No, every single blade we have goes on every single mower we have, uh, and it just makes maintenance that much more simple for us. So, um... Consider that, you know, if you need two mowers, 36 and 52, you will not see a push mower on here. We do not push mow yards, okay? If the 36 inch does not get into a backyard, um, we just don't do it. We don't push mow hills. I hate push mowing. I don't ask my guys to do it. We do not push mow, okay? Um, that being said, I have ran into one yard in probably 300 clients that a 36 inch would not get in. And I pull up to the yard and I said, hey, you know, we will do the front yard free of charge and let you and, you know, just part ways. But I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but I uh, did not realize your gate was so small. That's because we do our estimates online. All right. So that's enough about the mowers. And again, I'll do a full review of this. I know people are going to ask me. But uh, the cooler that we run with is the, uh, hold on, we got old helicopter. I live in a, a military town, guys. Uh, so anyways, um, the Orca, the 40 quart uh, cooler, you don't have to have something that nice and fancy. It's just, it was a gift for me and uh, I really enjoy having it. If I put ice in this thing at the beginning of the week, it lasts me the entire week. Throw bottled waters in there, Gatorades or whatever. And um, that's, that's what we use uh, on the truck, okay? So uh, the trailer is a six by 12, uh, one foot. Um, utility trailer it's not your cheapo at lowe's but uh it is not your super super high-end trailer either i actually got this trailer for 1200 bucks and uh i got that was a steal because the one that the guys are running right now with the expanded metal sides that trailer is now 2400 dollars at the trailer manufacturer um so i was just like you know what i'm gonna save 1200 bucks and get this thing and i tell you what i've been really really happy with it okay so uh safety cone um put this out whenever we're out working uh, if you noticed i had on a uh a yellow safety vest let me turn around real quick uh we all started wearing these this year um this right here is a net gator that i put up um 
it's not gonna keep coronavirus away from you, but uh, it will keep the dust down. I'll tell you what, man, this is an absolute, it's a necessity, gotta have it, okay? Um, so again, take safety seriously, guys. Eye protection, you know, hearing protection. I like the little foam inserts. Uh, you get a, like, a box of 500 of those for like 10 bucks. The last year the entire year and for me those are the most comfortable okay all right so getting back to our equipment um the srm uh 220 this thing right here uh seems to be our favorite weed eater we have more powerful weed eaters but we always gravitate to this one because we have clean properties and this thing is super light it's fairly inexpensive we set ours up with a darwin grip um, if you want to check those guys out um, i'll leave a link down in there i'm not big on like product promotion but I will say this right here is a game changer. So um, check it out. And if you want to you know, uh, get a link for that to buy that and check it out, then I'll leave that down in the description. Uh, we take the guards off of our weed eaters and you know, probably gonna get some hate mail for that. But you know what? If I'm the person out working, we want these things set up the way that we want them. And um, I've just found for us, it's just way better to have the guards off, all right? So if you are considering starting a lawn care business or you're just kind of building out stuff and, and getting your equipment ready for the spring this year, this right here was something that I wish I had figured out um, earlier. But my first year I went and bought a dedicated stick edger and then the problem that I ran into uh, with that was that I needed to have a pair of head trimmers uh, on the truck, okay? So then I'm carrying an extra pair of head trimmers. Uh, then I needed, you know, the big long head trimmers with the articulating, you know, head trimmers. And then I needed a pole saw sometimes. And I said, oh my God, there's gotta be a better solution. And of course, somebody out there had already figured it out that instead of having a dedicated edger, use your edger as a combi system if you're a steel guy or a PAS system uh, if you are a, a, an echo guy. And I gotta tell you, man, um, this is perfect because this is, you know, this is the PAS system with Echo. And what I do is, and instead of now carrying dedicated hedge trimmers, uh, different size hedge trimmers, pole saws, all you gotta do is just keep your extra tools right in here, okay? It keeps you from carrying around extra stuff. And again, by just having a Swiss Army knife on board, that is definitely the way to do that, okay? Always gotta have a second weed eater. Um, the other truck actually has a, a four position green touch rack um, just because that's what I bought whenever I first got going and the thing's still working perfectly. So there's no reason to get rid of it. Um, but these are the original green touch trimmer racks and they're in just as good a condition as the day that we bought them. Uh, locks, everything, go ahead and lock these, still work uh, perfectly, okay? And again, those things are uh, probably, what, four, four years old now. So uh, let's see, take a look in the back of the truck here. What we got? I don't even know what y'all are about to see. Okay, so the PB580T, that is the most popular blower for us. Um, we have blowers that are more powerful, but this right here seems to be the right balance of power and just comfortability, okay? Again, all of our yards are clean yards. We're not having to do major leaf cleanups. Um, so this is just a very, very comfortable blower and has enough power uh, to get it done. Uh, I have a five gallon sure can that is filled up with mix and I use this to replenish the no spill can, okay? The reason that I don't have a, a two and a half gallon uh, sure can on here is because I absolutely hated having to hold it up here with the lever, you know, press the little button, make sure it was just right. And it was, it was just kind of a pain in the butt to have to hold it up here to gas up all of your equipment. However, um, it's super easy to just use this with a little thumb lever um, and gas up your equipment, okay? So again, uh, I prefer the no spill can for our two cycle just for the simplicity of, of its use, but the sure can definitely has a, has a place, but for us, it's not force filling up our, our two cycle directly into the units. We actually, again, just use this to replenish this, okay? And a five gallons of, of, of mix will last me an entire week, okay? So you see here, um, we've got the backpack sprayer. I rarely use that, but every now and then, we just need to do some touch-up stuff around shadow box fences. Um, I keep a trash bucket in here. Um, the nine on it is because this used to hold my nine foot cast net. And uh, if you noticed, uh, some of this equipment has red on it. And um, you probably wanna ask me why that is. You know, even our backpack blower is red, uh, tools in there red. And the reason for that, guys, is because whenever we get to the storage units at the end of the day, um, 
all, all, sorry, I had a little break there. Uh, one of my uh, crew supervisors called me to tell me about just some nonsense going on at, at, a, at a client's house. But anyways, so again, uh, just being able to unload all of our equipment, um, it's, it's red because if it, all this stuff goes into my unit, okay? And then all the guys' stuff is painted blue, all that goes into their unit. That way, at the end of the day, you know, everybody knows where the equipment goes. If you take it out, it goes back in the same unit. Uh, if something needs to get replaced or it's broken, I can fix it and know exactly what truck and what unit it needs to go back into. It's just the way to uh, quickly and easily identify, you know, where your equipment is and where it's supposed to go. Okay, and I think I showed some of y'all this last year, but this is a little project that I did with the walkway. And um, look at this, man. The grass is already green, and Palisades normally takes a while to come out of dormancy, but... You know, it's been warm here for a good long while. But um, this is my little sanctuary, man. This is where I come to uh, unwind and rest um, at the end of, a, end of the day. Um, have a beer back here, you know, grill out, fry some fish or whatever. Thank you. Okay guys, so I hope that helps some of you out. The thing that I would like to leave you with is this. Um, once you find what it is that is the best for you in your market, you know, whatever you think it is, it's, it's probably wrong in the beginning. It, after year two, year three, you're gonna find what tools are the best for you in your market. And, and once you figure that out, double down on what you do best, man. Um, just, just copy and paste your way to success. Um, don't diversify yourself uh, and spread yourself too thin. Whenever you know you can find this one thing that you do better than anybody else, and, and continue to copy and paste your way all the way until you saturate your market, okay? That would be the tip that I would give you. Copy and paste the things that are working with, for you into the new year. Good luck.